Hi, I'm Samantha from Harmony Public Schools, and I'm going to be demonstrating my PBL project, Time of Death, using a cup of coffee and Newton's Law of Cooling. So first, I'm going to pour this cup, this coffee into the beaker. And then I'm going to check its temperature. And uh, you should also keep in mind that the surrounding temperature on the thermostat is 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Right now the temperature is 152 degrees Fahrenheit. When I first put the thermometer in the coffee, it was 152 degrees Fahrenheit. After a minute, it was 145 degrees Fahrenheit. At 2 minutes and 34, 2.34 minutes, it was 139.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And the surrounding temperature of the room is 74 degrees Fahrenheit. So from there, I'm going to use these time intervals to see how long it'll take for this cup of coffee to cool down to room temperature. With Newton's Law of Cooling, we came up with this formula. And as you can see, it's an exponential decay because the temperature is dropping. Um, well, here at time equals zero, the temperature is 152 degrees. And if I move this downwards to... Um, Five minutes, it's 123 um, degrees Fahrenheit, and after after an hour, it's 74.3 degrees Fahrenheit, and after 80 minutes, it's um, it, it gets to 74 degrees. So it will take about 80 minutes for the coffee to cool down to room temperature. This can be used in my project, finding the time of death. Um, this would be your model. The only thing is that you're going backwards. So you're, you have the time, the body, the temperature the body was found in at the time you went, but the only thing is that you'd be going backwards because you're trying to find the time that they died, not the time they cooled down to room temperature. Thanks for watching Harmony Public Schools.